Hello, my name is Karak82, and welcome back to our Regtech New Horizon Season 2. Just realized I was a bit short on cables, and I think it is time to finally fix this. Oh, yeah. I already had it set to include the redstone. Maybe we'll put that right there. So that should that should work. Oops. Um. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I have gone ahead and added the processors. Yeah, I can see it working. Uh, because we have added the big item filter. Kind of hoping it would be four, but apparently in this version it is only three. I don't I don't know if the next one is bigger. Maybe this one's even bigger. But uh yeah, we don't have a soul binder yet. I don't have a zombie thing to do that and I mean, I guess I could get a soul binder and then just co capture one zombie instead of setting up the automation for it right now, but uh I think we're okay for a bit. The only problem is when I if I ever want to switch this over to the next tier up if it has four. I don't know if it'll actually have four. I would actually kind of like to know that actually before I that it's a bit of a pain switching over all the the filters, but oh well. Uh, but there we go. Oh, are we out of no? Right. Uh, I don't have a mixer with, like, that being piped in with the four. Yeah, it's the, the four that's the issue in the mixer. So that is still done <laughs> manually, as we can see. But we're working on it, and uh, I am just setting up this automation right now now i will probably i'm thinking maybe the most efficient one to actually be to have a multi-smelter craft up a whole new one and just have it separate uh, but for now basically gonna export the uranium into there going to Import the, the the plutonium into an interface there, and then export the um, then export the, the ingots there. I think that will. All right, and we do have channels over there. Now, question is, do I guess I'll just hmm, the best way? I'm just trying to think how do I want to do that? Probably, I need to craft up more of this plutonium. Maybe three. I mean, I don't know what else we're going to be using it for. Also, just crushing it down. I don't feel like dealing with the thermal centrifuge or centrifuge or all that. We'll just crush it down and then smelt it. Um, I need a crafting card. I do have a bunch. It is good. And then, yeah, I'll just do this. Like I said, the most efficient way would probably just to be have another multi-smelter right next to it and then just use like conduits to send it back in. Wouldn't even need conduits, actually. Um, I could just build it directly next to it and then just auto output and then auto output back in. But, uh, I mean, the multi smelter is pretty cheap, isn't it? That would probably be. Should we just do that? Now that I'm like <laughs> doing this, I'm like, should we just do this? This is like HV. 
I mean, this is super cheap. It's only a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Uh, the one minor issue is the coils. I may have eight more coils, actually. You know what? We do. All right. Change plans. I'm actually going to... Yeah, let me just craft up a multi-smelter, and then we'll automate this. Okay, uh, almost done with this. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping the energy hatch could go on top, but uh, that is not a thing, so I've gone ahead and put it here and just had to run some cables underneath. Um, I have redesigned this a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, we will get this sorted. Uh, so I think we are good here. We got that in there. That we got our output bus there, and then this is the output bus to go into the input bus, and then it should just go in a circle, producing the radon. If I have done this correctly, now I do need to smack that with a thing. All right, we are good. And again, I'm probably going to, I need to get this off this line. Cause that's just, this isn't uh well, it works fine ish, except when all this stuff turns on <laughs> and then we might have issues. Uh, all right. So I need to do input bus there. All right. Now that should jump back and forth. I need to throw more plutonium in there, which uh, we should have all. Yeah, we'll just do the four. I don't even think we need four, to be honest. But uh, I don't know if we're going to put plutonium like in our. I, I don't think we're going to do mocks or anything like that. Although, I'm like, can we get... We might not be able to get this butanium out of the, uh... <laughs> out of this. That mox might be, uh... I don't think it ore dictionaries. Alright, so this is the slowest part, I believe. But uh, we'll just throw that in there. Let's just double check. This is working. Yep, there we go. And then it should be back. All right, cool. So there we go. That is producing radon. Um, I am, I mean, that's pretty basic, but... Uh, I am pretty happy with that. I don't actually know if we need the tungsten steel coil. I just had them, so I threw them in there. I knew that did a whole stack. Yeah, that's only three seconds. We actually only... We only really need, like, two in there, to be honest. All right. Cool. Um, I do need to throw a storage bus on there. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. What I've done over there. I don't know. Alright, so I've had the thing running for just a little bit. And uh, I'm actually smelting up a whole bunch of titanium again. Uh, just got around to doing it from our, uh, our miner. It looks like we probably ran out of... Um, what am I trying to say? The... Uh, the drilling fluid and it is turned off we usually run out of the drilling fluid before the uh before we run out of fuel so i'm just gonna throw that down so we can fill up a whole another one but uh yeah so i am processing a whole bunch of titanium uh, i just have it smelting and uh we have a decent amount of radon. Unfortunately, I'm noticing this is not updating, and I don't know why it's not updating. If I do this, 
Yeah, we actually have 180 buckets in there. So I don't know why that's not actually updating. That's a bit... That's a bit funny. I just have a fluid storage bus. Like, I've never... I haven't noticed that before. Like... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know why that wasn't updating. But anyway... Um, I do like being able to have... that accessible now i think what we're gonna do one i actually i really would like some more ender tanks we did get the two from the the uh the loot bags but now that i actually have like densendarium although i mean that is 18 endurium plates and you need two of them so 36 endurium plates i mean that is a decent amount of city and tank um actually i can just do a recipe for that while i am here just noticed that one has a four do they all have oh maybe they do have fours and i just never realized uh I guess we could do eh, I guess I mean we're not crafting these did I just do two of those all right there we go with the glass um I'll just have to do manually with the four I, eh, I don't know if we're putting rod are we putting any rods in here we are putting some rods. I don't want to switch this to a four because if we're putting rods in, um, we'll end up getting frames. And I don't want to do that. Like if I do a whole bunch of coils or something like that, we're going to have issues. Um, so yeah, I probably will just have to um, just hit four until we can get the multi-block, which that is something to consider. Because then I could have a different. I really should get that, to be honest. Because uh, that way I can just throw a different titanium and uranium. Well, I don't want to use up all that uranium. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have plenty of uranium, though. Uh, we are going to go through that, turning it into radon, but uh, it's not that slow, or not. It doesn't go through it that fast. Um, yeah, now that we have a whole bunch of titanium again, maybe I should look into the the mixer next. But uh, I wanted to do... Now that we have radon, I can actually make these things now. That's a bucket of radon. That's a bucket of radon. Or even more than that. So I'm thinking... Maybe we'll do recipes for those. We have a chemical... Does the, I didn't see what tier they were i don't remember just throw those up there so i remember hv that is hv but it is very very slow um but i do have a chemical bath at this point although i am using this chemical bath wherever it is there it is what was i i was using it for something else but I think I will just turn this into... We'll just throw it down here. I think we'll throw, turn it into a radon. Just one that's full of radon. Because we are going to need these. And we also, I think, we're going to need quantum... Quantumize also. So I think getting a chemical bath with this radon now is a good idea uh, i do need some probably some p2p i think i need one more of these i think that pump would even yeah we got a whole bunch of pumps from yeah these recipes are so slow that i mean even the smallest pump would probably work fine but, uh, yeah, let's get this full of 
radon. I will throw an interface on the back of that. And then I need to, pretty sure, pretty sure I have that is its own separate one. Yeah, it's that one. So we have plenty of channels over here. I did that purposely. Uh, so we'll do, we have an, one more channel over here as well. I'll have to do it here. Now that. There it is. Throw that there. There. Or out. And I know you can do, uh, you can do this differently with like conduits and stuff, so we don't need to use as many channels, but I don't know. I kind of like having one, each P2P channel is kind of its own, or each frequency is just kind of its own fluid or gas or whatever. So, all right, there we go. That is full of that, and then I just need to make the recipes. So quantum I and quantum another star or quantum star. Is that all of them? I thought there was more. Yep, there is only those two. All right, but that will let us automate the the sensor and the emitter actually. So that is. Good. All right. Um, so now that we have this, I'm thinking, should we start looking towards quantum circuits, like the quantum line of circuits? Um, that is the next tier up after nano. And that way we could start, I mean, We need the ZPM circuits to progress. So we're gonna have to get into the quantum circuit. So I'm thinking maybe this is something I want to do. We are, yeah, we have a EV. So that is not a problem. Uh, let me do a recipe for that. Now this is, we either do quantumize with molten gallium and arsenide, or we do less radon and indium gallium. Now we are gonna need lots of indium. And I really should just get that fully automated. The one kinda issue with that is I don't have a steady supply of like galena and sphalerite. Like, I only have 309 Sphalerite, right? and I would have to go do another drop the miner on a new vein to get a whole bunch of Sphalerite. Right? Um, because it is 9 per... Yeah, it's 9 per, um... Indium dust, so... Like, how much indium is that, actually? I really do just need to get it set up fully, though. Maybe we'll do that. That's only 34 indium. Um, and then if we're doing lots... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm, uh, I don't know. Ender eye, we are actually getting from our crops. So, I don't know. There is... There's definitely a case for either of them. Um, hmm. so if we do, we get four, it's two ender eyes per four. I know like the best way to do that is this, but we just have so much radar now and <laughs> we don't have a ton of indium. All right. I need to set up the indium though. Why don't I just, uh, do that now? 
<laughs> this is getting really crowded again, even though I just moved a whole bunch of stuff. I do think I've figured out how I want to design the base. Originally, I was going to have a path coming along here. But I think I kind of want to have this as part of the main building, and then we just go out from the sides is kind of what I'm thinking. But uh not going to do that right now. All right, I think I'm just going to do... I was trying to decide if I wanted the large chemical reactors or just the... Don't know why I came down here. The, the single block. And I think this is actually pretty easy to do with single block. Um, I may, when I expand this, uh, adjust it to do the... Uh, the large chemical reactor but uh yeah i'm just gonna do that now i'm going to actually can we do i don't know if that's gonna be fast enough i just want to see now if i keep i should have grabbed Should I grab this? Now I may be able to. Is a limited item thing? Is that a thing in 1.7? No, a limited filter is not a thing. Let me just double check. No. A lot of those, all the redstone filters and stuff don't exist in 1.7. That makes me a little sad. Uh I need Galena. And Sphalerites. Now I think. And I did this in Omnifactory. I, th I think the robot arms. Yeah, you can put them in like specific slots, can't you? What does that even mean? <laughs> Do I have to put the name? Uh, Eddie? Uh, Do I have to put like... I want to put like... Galena. Do I have to put, like, crushed, purified Galena? Is that what that's a? How does that work? I don't know. I've never actually looked at this before. Internal slot number. Adjacent slot number. No. Okay, you can put... It lets you put numbers, but it doesn't let you do... I can't type, like, something in. Like, I don't know what that means. Um, let's do, that. so, import, and I don't remember what the numbers are. <laughs> I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what this is referring to. I was kind of hoping we could do just the one and the one. All right. We can't get that to import anything. Although that is the slowest one. Should I? Hmm. Let's try the faster one. Just because... That might help. I don't have to sit there and wait for it. Any. I can't even type any. Well, I mean, that did what I wanted it to do. I'm going to try with this robot arm and just leave it in port um, because this isn't like so fast that it needs to be running full blast. It's one stack every 20 seconds, which is plenty. Uh, all right. So indium concentrate, we will fluid output into this one. Now this one is, oh, I need a aluminum. Now I am going to have to sort out 
aluminum as well, which, yeah, I do not have a whole lot of. Uh, so um, I want to get stone lilies. The red stone lily, I believe it is. I think I do have some. I just need to level them up. I think they're back in. Oh, I have some right there. Yeah. So I need to level these up, um, which I will do. And then I will start a farm for the granite. Basically, it's the granite. I will set this uh, red granite dust up and it will. We can farm alumina dust, which will get us aluminum because at this point we do not have a lot and i haven't got a whole bunch from i was hoping i'd be able to get some with a miner at this point i remember just having tons of aluminum yeah box i vein i don't want to do a box i vein small aluminum not even like a thing either all right. I mean, bauxite is its own thing. But being able to, I mean, we do get 16 from that and the rutile, but we don't really use that at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about that. I definitely want a a fully renewable thing of it, though. All right, so we'll just do that. I will figure out how I want to do this. Are we going to like put a crafting card on there? Not, not fully sure with that though. Um, I need to put this up to a nine though. I think that wasn't that. Yeah. Nine. Oh, <laughs> that's right. These internal tanks are not big enough to do that recipe. I had forgotten about that. Oh, well, we can just do the one. The one? Is it four? What was it? One, four, one. Yeah, these tanks do not carry 72,000. Um, I could do it in that, but uh, we'll just do the tiny piles, I guess, which is a bit of a pain, but yeah. All right, so there we go. Now that will... Do that. We will fluid output to the right. That to go in there. Then this will just electrolyze down into this stuff. So there it goes. Now I will. I mean, if I really, really wanted to deal with this, I would send this dust into a a packager. Well, that seems to be working okay. Yeah, I would send that directly into a packager if I really wanted to do this. Um, are the packagers, I'm pretty sure, are not that difficult. This really require a robot arm. And... Yeah, uh, I, th I think I'm going to eventually, to be honest, when I redo this, I'm going to probably do it up to the big one. So we can just not worry about that. So I'm not going to spend time on that. I am going to extract that to go into the A system. And then this we will extract to go into the A system. And then this water I will just send into a garbage or trash can. I have plenty of those. Don't remember why I have so many of those, but I am a fan of fluid trash cans. <laughs> so that will just go there. And void that water. All right. So that is that. I just got to figure out basically aluminum, which I am going to have to work on that. But I think I have decided how I want to. Did I put? I don't remember. Did I? I put that in the export bus, right? Yeah, it's going in there. So it is going in there. We should be getting tiny piles of that. Uh, the cubit. I have... Don't I have it set in here? Oh, I don't. 
that was the other one I wanted. So that, I guess we will be doing this. Now I do need to... The easiest way to do it again is the large chemical reactor. Do I have a chemical reactor in? I do have a chemical reactor in here. I could set this one up. It's inside a... I don't have any recipes or anything. Um, large chemical reactor is just so much faster. I would have to sort out the radon you know what no i think i actually am going to craft up more machine casings all right so i have a little bit of stuff i need to do though but uh it is kind of nice having i mean technically this is almost automated we just don't have a ton of um aluminum but uh, all right so i do have Yep, there is our R2 indium. Yay! <laughs> also, I need to sort out, if I'm going to do it this way, the phosphor, phosphorus stuff. Hmm. Like, do I want phosphorus or do I want to just go... No, that route's more expensive, isn't it? Nope, the phosphate's... Oh, that's not... I don't even think I can get that. Uh, so, yeah, it would have to be that. I'm going to have to sort out phosphorus too, because that's a bit of a pain. All right, so I have a few things here, but uh, I think with, uh, with that set up and our radon being produced, I think, yeah, I'm already up to 417 buckets of radon, um, I think we can go ahead and get the next tier of circuit. So I just got to get that. And do we want to maybe look into these? I don't know. <laughs> Those are relatively expensive. You do get 16. I'm like, you do get like 16 of these. But yeah, that see, like we need one of those. That's 12. I don't know. Well, I'll have to think about that. But uh, yeah, um, I do have. I think I know what I'm going to do with the base. So once I can start getting the main design, I could start finally moving all this stuff off the central building. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.